Hey Nathan, guess where we're at? Northern California. No, we're off-road. Yesterday we were on-road and today we're off-road. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna sample the brand new 2013 Nissan Pathfinder off-road. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Nathan's behind the camera. But in my experience, there are three things you need to have a solid off-road rock crawler. You need good tires, you need height, and you need approach and departure angles. Now the new Pathfinder has tires that are, well, meant more for fuel efficiency. It only has 6.5 inches of ground clearance, and the approach and departure angles, well, those are kind of of a sedan. So it's a good, solid car, but one that's more meant to take you to your cabin than beyond the cabin. So with the new system, basically you have a, a selectable dial, which you'll see in the, in the vehicle. Um, you have a two-wheel drive mode, and that sends all your torque to the front of the vehicle for maximum fuel economy. Then you have an auto mode, and that will split the torque as needed. So if you detect slip, it'll send some more torque to the back, you know, making sure you have traction for all weather conditions. Um, and then there's also a 4x4 lock mode. This is what we're going to do, folks. We're going to try this out in two-wheel drive and see how far we can get up this hill. It's pretty steep. Then, when we start to slip, we're going to go into auto mode, which will hopefully help us out a little bit. And then, if that starts to slip or hesitate, then we'll go to four-wheel drive lock. Nathan, you failed to mention there are four people in this car. There's four people in this car, and we're not doing as well as I expected. And so, the tires. So yeah, and the tires are low rolling resistance tires. Yeah, yeah. keep it going. You're still yeah. in two-wheel drive. Yep. Don't switch until we stop. You know what, there's some cones coming up. Stop yeah. in front of these cones and see if you can get going in two-wheel drive. You got it. It doesn't like it too much. My foot's all the way down. Traction control's probably saying, you know, I don't think this is a good idea. But we're doing it. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, here comes the little hump. Oh! oh. <laughs> this is where we stop. And we're gonna go to auto mode. Now, we're in drive, see what happens. Same hill. Easy. Definitely a difference. Yeah, but the steepest part is still ahead. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's auto, auto and now it's in lock. All right, let's see if we can go. It's doing it. So there's, there's cameras at both outside rear view mirrors, right? There's a camera in the front right below the grill, and there's another camera in the back in the lift gate. So basically, this puts together a composite bird's eye view of the vehicle, and you can see we're coming up to these rocks in a bit of a dip right here. And basically, you can look at the screen and go, okay, how am I on ground clearance? Am I gonna hit anything? Nope, it looks like I'm all good. And now I'm through the rough stuff. So now we're headed back up this hill in auto mode. Display is currently showing 60 front, 40% rear torque. And we are coming up to another hill. So what we're going to do is, you can see the, the drive selector down here. I'm going to click it over. And I just went into lock mode. So we made it up the mountain. <sighs> Smells good. But now we have to get down the mountain. Here's the thing. This doesn't have hill descent control, which to some people isn't such a bad thing. In this particular case, you can use engine braking through the CVT and it's really good ABS system in order to get down really steep hills. That's what they tell me. Let's find out. God forbid, most systems that use hill descent control, that's basically all they're doing, brakes. But in this particular case, I'm doing it. And you know what? Works just fine. Yeah, but it's not very slippery right now, Nathan. Oh, it'll get a little bit more slippery. Nathan can make it more slippery. All I have to do is go faster. That's all it takes. It is surprising though, with those tires and this kind of soft road, all wheel drive system. What do you think of it? I think it's actually one of the best ones I've sampled in a crossover. Look, we take crossovers off road because we like to prove that if you can do off road, you can do snow. 
This one, I have no doubt, will do very well. It still has some limiting factors. It still has 6.5 inches of ground clearance. But we'll wait for our buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it until we get back to Colorado when we can really take it boulder bashing. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Now, Nissan flew us out here, which means what, Nathan? It means that the Century Review is coming up next. Check it out tomorrow. So subscribe for a new video every day. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. At the top of Cow Mountain, <laughs> <laughs> reporting for the fast lane car. See you next time. See you next time. Watch your step. By the way, guys, if you're looking for our first dry review of the new Pathfinder, check out tflcar.com or click on the annotation as always.